people are on one side of the coin or other. They are like, yeah, bring on the virtual school. I'm not ready to go back. COVID's freaking me out. I don't want my personal career and life to blow up because I have to go back if they have to come home. And the other side is no, because virtual school will never be good enough for my kid and their education. So just start us off there. How are you navigating that? What are you hearing? And how should we respond to this? Uh, I'm hearing the same stuff, of course, and even from teachers, we're hearing the same thing. Some teachers are excited about the possibilities of doing more online education and virtual things. Um, most teachers, however, are the opposite. They're really nervous about it. They've been teaching the same way for many, many years, and so it's a lot more work to support a virtual platform. Uh, but also there are uh, issues that come up as far as getting hacked and things like that. Um, not having the same face to face. There's no replacement for face to face, but that doesn't mean you can't have awesome, authentic experiences. And and a lot of teachers recognize that. And so, you know, a lot of teachers are doing innovative things. Um, what environment are you creating? Now, I use a virtual green screen. I can change my environments. Like if you're doing history now, you can literally go to the Vietnam Wall and talk about the Vietnam Wall. You can take them there, or you can do the stage setup where if you're doing science and lab, put some bottles out, put some chem set stuff and create the environment. So Brian's kind of asking, what can we do to make it more engaging, both visually and emotion probably, I'm kind of assuming here, Brian. So Tyler, how do you do that? Should teachers go virtual? Should they go with props? What's the best way to raise that level with the environments? Yeah, I, I think you have a lot of the same engagement issues that you would have in a normal physical classroom on the virtual stage. And so as a teacher, some of the things that we do to be more engaging is we get away from lecture and we have more discussion based. Um, we have, you know, props that we show or visuals. Uh, we might bring in a video clip or an audio clip and you can do all those things virtually. So the things that would be engaging in the classroom. You can find a way to do it in the, on the virtual stage.